Hey guys, Maritza here. I decided to make another video to touch upon some points, you know, that um, I've come across. And I guess I'll make this the transition journey video number 10. I really want to explain myself. And I also want to um, inform those people that continue to want to place all Christians or all believers in Christ in a box, saying that we're weak-minded, saying all sorts of things that are not true. If anybody ever knew me, and I've been pretty visible for the past 16 years, weak or weakness is not one of my traits. I have to say that it has not been an easy road and I've tried this detransition thing. This is not my first rodeo. I kept fighting father. Yes, that inner voice, that conscious that speaks to you. That is your father. That is God speaking to you, letting you know that the path that you're on is not a right path. Every time you feel any type of guilt, every time you feel any type of discomfort in what it is that you're doing, let it be known that that is your father speaking to you. You may be an atheist, you may not believe in God, but he exists and he talks to you. It's that little voice in your head that you keep trying to fight. But it gets to a point where you can't fight it anymore. I'm not gonna sit here and be ashamed of my healing and be ashamed of, of my awareness, of my awakening to reality, to facts. I'm not gonna be shamed or I won't allow anyone to try to dismiss my story, my life, my knowledge in any which way, shape or form. I will not allow it. I am 54 years old or be turning 55 the end of June. I'm not some teenager, you know, some, some unknown mentally unstable person. I transitioned back in 2003 because I thought that was the right thing to do because that was the band-aid that was going to help me mask my pain because I had been searching my entire life from drugs to alcohol to promiscuous sex, identifying at one point as a lesbian. All these things were used as a form of masking, as a band-aid, as I mentioned earlier. It solved nothing, absolutely nothing. I continued to search. I went from relationship to relationship. Nothing ever calmed the pain. For those that say that, oh, I've gone from one extreme to another and that it's all about self-hatred. No, I hated myself before. And that's why I engaged in the things that I did. That was self-hatred. This is love. This is completely learning who I am allowing the pain to flow forward, dealing with it instead of masking it with things. This is real. This is raw. This is, this is facing reality instead of running away from it, as many of you do. You know, somebody had posted something. Let me see if I could find it here. And um, I hope one of these days you wake up and see that both you're transitioning and you're becoming an anti-gay fundamentalist Christian. First of all, I'm not an anti-anything or a fundamentalist anything. I am a follower of Christ. So I'm glad that you think you know who I am. But again, this is, this is your own, you know, when people strike out like that, their own shame, your own shame is what's telling you that little voice inside you. That's God telling you, daughter of mine, you're in the wrong path. So you're reflecting this on me, you know, you're pushing this on me. Um, so the anti-gay fundamentalist Christians are two sides of the same coin. They both stem from self-hatred of yourself as a female and as a lesbian. Um, I don't hate myself as a female anymore. I did before, and that's why I did what I did. And both trans ideology and fundamentalist Christianity are authoritarian, cultish, and anti-women. I, I, I agree with you that the trans agenda is a cult and there might be some sectors in some Christian beliefs. There's over 4,000 dominations in, in Christianity alone. Um, there might be, you know, I know that there are some, but that's not where I'm, I'm at 
and I don't follow any cult. I'm a follower of Yeshua. You know, I believe in Christ. I believe in the gospel. I believe in the red letters. And they proceed to saying, um, Christianity does not have a monopoly on God or holiness. No, Christianity doesn't. But the word of God, the way the Bible, and those that follow Christ are the way, the truth, and the path. There are many happy, healthy. I've yet to find many happy, healthy anything in the LGBT community. And there might be some. I'm not saying that nobody is. There might be some. But there's. it always stems from some sort of trauma from some sort of unhappiness with men some some like wanting something you know that is not within the norm and and i know because i lived it 22 years i lived it been around this is not my first rodeo then she proceeds to say you've gone from one trap to another this is not a trap this is me finally dealing instead of running away from things. This is me facing the truth instead of masking it. This is me waking up to reality that no matter if I identified as a lesbian or a trans guy, those weren't true identities. Those were just band-aids, you know? People do heal, people do evolve. And very sad, but I see no point in following you any longer. Yeah, of course not, because, you know, you can't follow, you know, a person that's healed and awakened because it makes you look at you. I, I went ahead and I responded. That is a code for you're not waving the flag that I want you to wave. Therefore, I, I can't follow you. While you were identifying as a lesbian or a trans guy, I could support you because they were supporting me through all that. But now that you identify with Christ instead of Satan, I must try to shame you and tell you how much you hate yourself. Because I've heard this before. This is not the first time. This is this is their pro road. The sad thing is Satan has a script. He's not very intelligent. He's not very creative. He repeats itself. If you hear trans people talk, if you hear people in the LGBT community talk, it's the same talk. And again, folks, you know, I am not judging you. I don't care what you do with your life that's between you and your creator. That's your life, not mine. I'm dealing with mine right now. And that's more than I can handle. I'm sharing my truth. I am reaching out to people that I know that are hurting, that need to hear the message that God has provided me to give you. If this is not your message, you don't have to listen to it. But there are many out there that are reaching out, and this is their message. Sam, I hate to break it to you, but no, I love myself so much now that I am able to live in peace. I didn't have any peace before. I no longer need outside stimulation, women, or the identity of transgenderism to feel complete. I am whole and free. I only wish that you too can be the same. Instead, you continue to live your life missing the mark, running away from men because you refuse to deal with the issues that make you run away from men. Do you think that is normal, having to run away from the gender that is meant to be with women? And, you know, everyone's entitled to be with whoever they want to be. But if we look at this, the, what's normal, what God created, God created man and women to be together. Whatever reason you have to dislike men, run away from men, that's between you and your father. But don't turn around and try to, you know, push it to me as it's normal, because in my heart of hearts, it is not. I've never thought it was. I lived it, but I never felt to fully comfortable in that. So... Um, if you're running away from men because you refuse to follow God's law, that's on you. That's not on me. I'm doing what Maritza has to do. Sam has to do what Sam has to do. And of course, I'm going to pray for you as I pray for all of those who are lost, but hope one day you will be found. Christians don't hate anyone in the LGBT. That is unfair to say. Just because we want you all to live, we want you all to have the best life you could have doesn't mean we hate you. On the contrary. We are ordered by our Father to love everyone, and that includes you, Sam. We, however, are ordered not to take part or accept the lifestyle that has corrupted humanity and continues to do so by leaps and bounds. We love you and want you all to wake up from the deep sleep and return home. And this all came about because I wrote, I, I shared a picture, 
and I can't do it with this program if I was on Hangout. I shared a picture of my before and after, and I'll probably um, I'll probably share it tonight on on my evening show. And I said, living in sin for 38 years, the first 22 as a lesbian and the last 16 as a trans man, Yeshua has broken my chains. Father had been working on me for the past four years, showing me the pain this lifestyle causes those who engage in it. And that's all I've ever experienced. And that's all I've ever seen those that have been in my circles. I haven't yet found one person in my circle. And I've been around a lot of people from the LGBT that have been fully happy. I was in and out of relationships, never finding peace, engaging in the use of drugs, cigarettes, and alcohol and promiscuous sex, all of which I was redeemed from as well. This is a miracle. I, I, I still am trying to like understand because completely through the past four years, little by little, Father has taken away the things that don't belong in my life. I am free and no longer identify with the LGBT. My identity is in Christ. I was once Mark Angelo Cummings, a trans man on a mission. I am now Maritza Cummings, daughter of the Most High. And, you know, you all just may not understand it. You all may, may think whatever you want to think. I know the peace that I feel inside. I know where I've come from. I know the life that I've led. It was not a happy life. It's never been a happy life from the moment that I decided to go against the will of my father. It is very evident, very evident that that is not what father wants from us. Everyone has their own will and their own way of being and everyone follows their own path. But when you follow your own path, and I've learned this with my own experience, you get into a lot of danger, you know, and you get into areas and places you don't want to travel to. But everyone has to learn their path the hard way. And everyone has to come to the conclusion themselves. I could only tell you how my life has turned out, what I feel right now. This is my life. This is my story. This is my detransition. And I have every right to share and I have every right to my views and opinions and I have every right to praise my father. All glory goes to him. All right, guys, I just wanted to make a quick one. Thank you so much. I love you guys. But remember to always love yourselves too. Take care.